Hi and welcome to Violet Connie Art. Today I'm going to do a flip through of my scroller box sketchbook that I got in my last box. I will leave a link to that video in the description. I made it into a 30 day challenge. I actually did it in 31 days because I was really sick for about over a week and a half so I I didn't do any art in that time pretty much but um, this is uh, my sketchbook here and I decorate it with some Posca pens on the uh, shiny cover as you can see it's glittery and I use glittery Posca pens and in purple of course and I put my Violet Connie art sticker on the front so I decided to fill every single possible space uh, back and front and some of it has rubbed off on the other pages which is a bit of a shame but um, I think from now on I might just use one side of my sketchbook because I don't like this happening but I kept a little tally of how many days I did the challenge for. I did 31 so I probably should add another one in there and there's the swatching from the first scroller box. I did this, so this is on a gouache background with a Pentel brush pen. Uh, this was my scroller box challenge. Again, the link to that video is in the description. This one here, I downloaded the artwork from Angie Hewitt Arts scroller box challenge video for this month and uh, colored that in. So I'll leave a link to her video in the description. This here was my son, Mr. D Sketch. He did a the scroller box challenge as well for Enchantress and this was what he drew. This here is a gouache background with Posca pens. It didn't really go very well on top of the gouache, um, but that's fine. This is with Copic markers. Again, uh, supplies I got from a scroller box. So these are um, the colors that I've gotten across different scroller boxes. Um, I think these were actually chameleon markers. Um, and most of the pictures I have used are from Pinterest as well. So this one was straight out of my head. Some of it's rubbed off a bit. It was just mucking around with a gouache background, uh, a black brush pen, white um, gel pens, and then this here is a little bit of uh, Posca pen yellow. Uh, this I wasn't entirely happy with. The reference photo was from Pinterest. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, some parts of the hand don't look quite right, but uh, oh, they're okay. Um, this was a photograph from um, a trip that I took earlier this year in February. So this is a lighthouse. I think this is at Port Ferry um, and I painted that in gouache. And as you can see, some of it's rubbed off onto the other page, which is really disappointing because I kind of liked this picture. Um, and up next is a mermaid and yay for mermaid next week. Um, uh, for May, I'm only gonna be participating doing one mermaid a week I think because uh, yeah, I'm a little bit over challenges at the moment um, then I did some decorating so gouache background with Posca pens it's the same theme throughout this was straight just Posca pens um, just out of my head just just mucking around um, a gouache piece here again I just, just experimental and I kind of want to uh, set myself the challenge to fill every page as much as I could this is a gouache background with Posca pens on top and then uh, this here is uh, colored pencils and um, black liners and I kind of gave up on what I was planning to do here because I smudged her face when I was erasing the lead lines um, this is a gouache background again um, with some um, Pentel brush pen on top. This is color pencil and blended with some line art. The line art I actually did with a uh, a brown ink and I actually have been watching and I can't do it nearly as well as what this person can but I've been watching Tommy the Dreamer and she does some amazing artwork and she uses uh, this brown ink on her a lot of her artworks and I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I I actually bought some a little while ago and been giving it a try but I still need to practice a bit and I think this paper didn't like my dip pen very well it kind of tore at it a little this is a um, gouache piece of my view out the back I did a video on this um, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description as well so this was a, a reference photo from Pinterest that I just did in color pencil I was feeling bored and I just wanted to use some Posca pens, so that's what I did. 
Uh, this here is um, another one from Pinterest and what I really wanted to do was play with the contrast of cool and warm colors and and light as well and I think I did all right I'm, I'm not a huge fan of pencil like this here uh, the streaky nature of pencil I think it's because I don't have patience I think if I had patience I could make this better so it wasn't so streaky but um, it's okay it's good for what it is I, I I think I really love painting I think that's where it's at for me um, this here was using watercolor markers it's just it was real blotchy the paper didn't handle it at all like it, if you feel the paper it's all kind of torn up so uh, yeah it it I think some of the supplies I was using was no good for this paper I really really liked this picture so this was another image again from uh, I think Pixabay this time and so is this one this one I really enjoyed and I'm so disappointed that this is yellow I don't know if you can see it here on the camera but the yellow from this has transferred onto the top of that so that's disappointing and then this one here again which did not turn out let's not talk about that um, I was muckering around with this one with some Faber-Castell glitter pens which was a bit of fun to do uh, this didn't turn out. I was trying to use my ink tents. It, the paper wasn't really holding up very well and I got the proportions of her head and her body really quite off. So then I ended up just splashing paint across the page just to fill it in. When I mucked things up, I decided to just fill the page and be done with it. Uh, this here is Posca pens. I really like this side. It's kind of cute. Uh, this like a line if anyone knows this style and uh, what it's called I would love to know in the leave a comment below and let me know um, I, I'm pretty sure it has a specific name and I would really love to look that up this one is another one like that this I had uh, started a sketch and it wasn't turning out right so I painted it over black and then I tried to use a uh, silver paint pen and it just was not working and so I kind of got fed up and just ended up using a silver glitter pen and a white gel pen to just draw bubbles all over it this was um, a pit a picture I painted and it's got glitter all over it now because of that page but this is a picture I painted of um, some trees and some mountains that we just seen on our most recent uh, little day trip away down the coast. Um, this was just out of my head. I wanted to play with some uh, chalk pastel pencils that I got and so that's what this is up here. And then a pencil brush pen over the top just silhouetting in some nice trees and bushes. This one here is a gouache piece that I did just today. It is from our trip as well, little farmhouse house on the hill. I really want to repaint this again, but we're using um, watercolor. And then just some swatches, and then the last page I filled up with this decoration using some Posca pens. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for looking through my sketchbook with me today. Today's shout out goes to Tommy the Dreamer. She does some absolutely stunning artwork. I actually mentioned her earlier in the video with the work she does with the brown inks. But here's her artwork here, it's brilliant. Her channel's still only small, but her artwork deserves a lot more views than it's got. So check out her channel with the link in the description and tell her Connie says hi. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the little bell so you're notified every single time I put a new video up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.